good morning welcome back to a brand new video and a brand new renovation vlog i've got some updates to share with you from the last couple of weeks or so from where we last left off with our previous renovation vlog basement i can't wait to share it with you um so excited for the basement extensions are a little bit slower so we'll get into that and we'll talk about um where we've got to and possible delays hiccups along the way i mean if you've lived through a reno before or know someone who has you'll know that it's not a smooth process at least not all the time anyway if you do enjoy these renovation vlogs be sure to follow me on instagram at freya frankton home where i tend to do more regular in the moment updates i do actually have up here some well, a parcel and some boxes, which I ordered recently from Cherries. I do actually have quite a few bits downstairs though that I might share with you first and then come back up here to share with you all of their new in homeware bits that they've got, which is very exciting. They've got like a whole new Nordic range. So many. Oh, it's the postman. I was like, what is that? Let's go down and share with you all of the kind of kitchen essential bits, the pet bits that I've bought just all of that kind of stuff if you've not heard of cherries before then you're clearly new to my channel because I shop on cherries all the time but cherries are very kindly partnering with me on today's video and they have very kindly sent me these bits to share with you and show you some of the new inner items so I use cherries for like all my kind of essentials especially the bulkier items like kitchen roll toilet roll things like that whereby you shop via the app delivered straight to your door. No need to carry those bulky items through the shops and it's all kind of really affordable, budget friendly options that you can shop, which is obviously music to my ears because we all know why I love a bargain. And what's more, I do also have a discount code for you guys to use whether you are an existing customer of Cherries already, you can get free shipping. All you need to do is enter the code FF at checkout and that is valid until the 20th of July. However, if you are a new customer and you've never used Cherries before, then I have an amazing discount code of 25% off. If you use the code FF25, you'll get 25% off checkout and free shipping. Let me just get out these boxes. Now this one is gonna be very intrigued he always knows that cherries a cherries box a cherries delivery falls something for you isn't that right bud no one can see you come here hey <laughs> our keys and the gravy bones do you want a gravy bone bubba where are you going he's trying to do a rollover come here come touch sit leave it I also got some other bits for him. This pet brush that they had, this bristle brush. I've also got a multi-purpose dog mat. I'm gonna switch out that one that I've got down there and pop his bowl on that. Got myself a new little zip pocket bum bag. A new frisbee. We'll keep him entertained for two minutes. I also got some tasty minis. Okay, some foodie kitchen bits now. I've got these, Liam Perrin's crisp. How nice they sound. And how much of a throwback is this chipsticks got some foil trays oops quick and easy lunch options and have you ever used these they are genius they are toaster bags if you like a toasty i'm a big fan of a cheese and onion toasty you just pop the whole kind of sandwich in a toasty bag in the toasty machine toasty machine <laughs> We call them toasters. And you have yourself a delicious little lunch. I also got a can opener. Ours is absolutely rubbish. Doesn't work very well at all. Some beans and then also this little wine tool kit. But I just thought that would be really handy in our kitchen. Stocked up on all the cleaning essentials. This fairy pods. I usually use the powder, but I thought I'd just switch it up for a change. I used to use the pods all the time, but um, some toilet roll, kitchen roll, some drain and blocker, little caddy as well to be able to clean, uh, clean? carry cleaning products around about with me got these big strong biodegradable wipes multi-purpose cleaning wipes in the lemon scent and then i also have a smaller pack of the anti-back cleansing surface wipes got some fabric conditioner i've not tried this one before it's the Fab fabric fairy fresh scent which i think is just a bit stronger and a bit oh i don't know oh god that is good so um, unstoppables also stocked up on my vermouche again very affordable from cherries and i like to use these on like barney's whenever i'm doing a wash over barney's bedding and stuff and towels and then i also got a toilet cleaner <laughs> i guess the first 
thing to share with you is these boxes on top. Now, because one of our basement rooms is going to be a dedicated storage room, we're going to get some proper like shelving. You'll see down in there in a second what it's currently looking like. They've got two different sizes that they do. The larger one is 17 litre and then the smaller one is 11. I got some um, products from the gift wrap and stationery section. This little gift bag and this, I thought this was good, a two pack of gift cards with an envelope for if you're gifting money to someone or vouchers or something. I got some dry shampoo, some great brands on cherries, short scoff. And I also got this, which I thought would be quite fun for like either traveling or out and about in the garden. It's like a little mini wireless speaker. I also got for out in the garden yet again, or if we're going on a nice walk with a picnic, nice little picnic rug. This is kind of like better suited to the garden as well, I suppose. Gardening is my kind of therapy. Little bits and bobs. You could put maybe a twine in that or just little kind of scissors or something. Got some essentials some cotton pads this new pom-pom cream duvet set some of these items they did actually send to me and i haven't picked them out so i haven't even seen them so i don't even know what they are which is very exciting oh, it feels lovely cozy fleecy kind of faux fur feeling another little storage bag oh this is nice i've not seen this on there before so this they must have sent to me in oud wood a candle how nice is that it comes on a little wooden kind of stand a bit like a white company jupe from sass and bell three pack of mirrors like a moon phase mirror so you've got like the circular one it's got a gold rim as well which is lovely and then the other two are crescents like so oh this is lovely how nice is this this is also sass and bell this reminds me of denby how nice is that it's like um if you know Denby mugs, it is very similar. But they've sent me this as well. I think there's another one that they do. Yeah, here. Yeah. Matching set, white, and again, that wooden bamboo finish. Kind of soap dispenser and toothbrush holder. They've also sent me a Midnight Rose diffuser. I'm not going to open it up just yet, but with the black reeds. There's two things left. Oh, this is cute. This is good for... I'm imagining outdoor dining with a little kind of flower display in the middle of a table. It's kind of got like, it's that kind of greeny recycled glass effect look with the little kind of bubbles on the glass, if you can see that. And then last but not least, a dip glazed ombre gray little vase. How nice is that? So thank you to Cherries for very kindly gifting me all these bits and working with me on today's video. Make sure to check them out via the link in my description box and use that discount code FF if you're an existing customer for free shipping and FF25 for 25% off as well as the free shipping. So I hope you guys enjoy. Happy shopping. And now let's get into, let's roll it back to when I last left off and bring you up to speed with things today. So picking up pretty much from where we last left off, we were just starting to put down the flooring. So our builders carried on doing this. However, to be honest with you, it is a DIYer's dream, this flooring. It is so easy to install, cut to size, and it's like an easy click system. So it's from Firm Fit Flooring. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. The one that we've gone for is the Rigid Core Plank in um, CW1683. We were very tempted to go for Herringbone, which they do also do and I think we may even go for this upstairs on the ground floor when we get round to doing it so um yeah it's really easy to fit the builders just cut it to size and laid it down tapped down along the edges just to secure it in place and really really happy with the finish of it it's 100% waterproof which is perfect for the utility space especially with their muddy paws and a wet dog and obviously wet clothes and everything too. So outside we've made progress in terms of the drainage system. So for the outside extension we've had to have the new drains fitted and we've had to kind of match them up and put them into the mains, um, the main drains I guess, just to prep that for when we obviously have kitchen and everything in there. And then we've had the roof started to go on, scaffolding going up, We've had sections cut out for where the windows are going to be and we have actually taken delivery of those windows already as well. So all will be fit very soon and all watertight ready for the internal work to begin. So we actually have had the door put on to um, lead down into the basement. These... Well, this doorknob that we've gone for is, I actually got it from Amazon as a full set. So it's like an antique kind of iron looking doorknob and hinge as well. The hinges and 
all the latches we've gone for are black just like we did upstairs as well so you might be able to see there's one hinge down there we only needed two hinges on this door just because it's quite thin and it also didn't have to be a fire door this one so it's quite light it's actually the only sort of standard hollow core door that we have um because of the this size of it's quite a like a narrow door and I struggled to find anything that was a fire door that was well, not even a fire door just a solid core door that was that size so anyway we ended up going for this just standard core but it does feel different to the ones that we have upstairs and the new ones downstairs but it is what it is um we've just had the carpet cut out because uh, you know in the long term we're actually not going to have carpet here we're going to have hard flooring throughout so wanted to rather than shave the door too much to be able to fit with this carpet just get rid of the carpet for now so if we head on downstairs i have to be careful where i go because there has been some paint to touch up so i don't want to touch anything um but this door is one of the doors that is now hung to go into the storage room as you can tell with the color difference you might be able to tell i'm pretty sure you can this came as like white primed so we're just going to paint it in the same color that we end up doing all the woodwork which they are getting on with as well just finishing off all those kind of paint touches so you can see that skirting board has been painted that section hasn't i don't know if you'll be able to see that on camera if i show you a bit closer up this is painted and then all of this section is still to be done it just looks a little bit messy and scuffed that's the main difference that you can that you can tell there the skirts that we've gone for are the exact same that we've gone for upstairs and it's the exact same height as the original skirting that came with the house so it's 220 in height just for reference if you are interested it is quite high in fact very high for skirting but it's definitely not necessary however we love that kind of dramatic and traditional keeping with the the whole feel of the renovations so that's what we're trying to do especially with things like skirts coving and things like that so the floor definitely needs a bit of a clean this is the firm fit flooring that we had and um it, you can kind of like install it yourself i even chipped in i helped out as well it's a really kind of easy click system lvt so yeah it's a diyers dream i will say that they've got a really cool online visualizer tool that i took all of the before pictures with these rooms when they were completely you know dust sand everything bare brick and i used the visualizer tool to visualize what flooring i think would work best anyway we ended up going for this one this is the um rigid core plank in cw1683 that's the color if you were interested you might see this and remember it from our previous renovation vlog but we've had the utility units installed they're fitting the worktop tomorrow so i'll try and capture that for within this vlog as well i'll try and include that at the end but we've just had our washer and dryer stacked and added in we've had the dog wash obviously put in tiled they just need to sort out the plumbing for that and um then this stairwell we've pretty much decided i think what i'm going to do is cut this kind of doormat material to shape so it's like essentially three doormats going in just to finish that off and also help gather any muck and mud coming in from outside from muddy walks down the steps there so yeah that's how that's looking if we go back through here the first door into one of the rooms and this is the storage room so we're definitely going to need a bit of a tidy up before we um get some pictures of the after because we are so close but obviously once the builders are out that's when we're having a full clean of the entire basement and then i'll be able to get some good before and afters but for now this is what this is looking like again skirts on and in it all looks great we are just going to get some silicon just to finish off the edging on the bottom to kind of like seal shut the where the skirt meets the flooring I'm unsure yet whether or not to go for like a white, if we're gonna try and get a color match to the floor clear, I'm not quite sure yet, but I'm gonna try and get a color match to this floor to be able to add that in, but we'll see how we go with that. And then this is what this room's looking like, not too different from the last time, just again, skirts have been added, paint has been done, we've done extra coats on the panel doors. These doors actually for the woodwork paint from coats, I think it must just be the actual wood rather than going on to plaster it is different but it did take more coats than the walls the walls have had two coats and that's plenty it could have 
maybe even done with the one with the mist coat underneath. However, the woodwork definitely took more coats. So just bear that in mind if you are looking to paint woodwork. We've obviously had the architraves put on and around the doors as well. And then moving through here, we've got again, just more skirts and architraves have been added on. The door into the bathroom, but no handle on here yet. So yeah, this, because these are solid core doors, we've decided to go for three hinges just to secure them nicely. And again, I've just gone for black, same as we did upstairs. And yeah, so this is the door into the bathroom. And then back through here, again, the last and final door for down here has been hung as well. So yeah, all the doors have been hung, skirts have been on, added and paint or started to be painted. In fact, I'm gonna say started, but it's actually predominantly painted. There's just a few little bits left to do. So not far off at all. I'll give you, um, I'll, well, depending on what time you finish this tomorrow, because then that'll be real time, the same day that I'm uploading, um, I will, yeah, potentially, hopefully, fingers crossed, try and share with you a bit of an update on the quartz worktop that is going in in the morning. They are due to get here in the morning, so there was a bit of delay and a bit of an issue with this, and not really an issue, but because our builders were away on holiday for a week, um, and they weren't on site, when they came to fit the worktop, they just weren't quite happy with the placement of the Belfast. So what we did was we had our builders just move out slightly. So essentially with a built Belfast sink, I guess you can fit it in and he could have fit the worktop. But with a Belfast, ideally, if you can have it out 20 mils, which this now is, it allows this drip limit to roll under and then drip down rather than rolling all the way under and then dripping on the woodwork it would drip on the floor so it just helps keep any like moisture away from this seal here or this kind of gap here so we decided to wait for our builders to get back move it back and then we just basically postponed the fit of the quartz worktop for a week so not a major delay they're back tomorrow. Apart from that, that's pretty much the update down here. And pretty much the update since the last renovation vlog. Not too much has been happening with them. All, all the builders have had time off this last week or two. To be honest, it's been quite nice to have a, a quiet household for once. But yeah, they're back to it. They're finishing off probably within the next week or two. So the next kind of renovation vlog update for down in the basement at least will probably be completed, finished, starting to style up which is exciting and um, the extension is a whole other situation just briefly just to kind of bring you up to speed of things we haven't done anything since the last lot in fact I tell a lie we've popped on some let me show you yeah we have had um, some like roof batons be put on and some scaffolding be put up so I'll show you that but apart from that not much has really happened outside. We're gonna to have to reorder the steel or just talk through with the structural engineer and our builders because it's too big, essentially, for our property to potentially support it. We'll see, so that's all on hold. I've had this scaffolding added on and then the roofing starting to go on. As soon as we get these steels in, it'll all be airtight, watertight and sealed for, I mean, it'll take a couple of weeks for them to finish. So it's not far off. It's just a case of waiting on those steels. But yeah, we've had the gaps here put in for the windows, which we've already had delivered. And I have decided I'm gonna keep the pantry part, which is this back section. I was gonna add in a small window. I think I'm gonna keep it windowless and just help keep it a dark, cold room for food storage and yeah just because if it'll be an enclosed room with a window, it might actually get hot with the sun. Speaking of the sun, sun's come out. So yeah, roof is almost on, and I'll just keep you guys posted on what we end up doing when we end up getting those steels to pop in the house, which is a big job. It's a big day when the steels go in, because that means they rip into the old house, and it all kind of starts merging into one, which is very exciting, but it, in terms of as a job, it's actually very difficult if if we ended up going for the size of the steel that we um you know if they recommend that we actually can fit the steels that we've already ordered then or that our builders have ordered then it's a job for a crane to have to load it in so i think it's a whack 
about 1.6 tons or something ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, it's heavy. So we finally have the quartz now installed. This is from Granite and Quartz Installations in a place called Hanforth Dean, if you're local. This is called the Carrera Quartz. Really, really happy with the result of it. We've got our Colbert tap, our Belfast sink. We decided to go for an upstand on the back as well. I think it ties in really nice with the tiles that we've got on the dog wash. I'll put more pictures and images on my stories and on my Instagram, so be sure to check it out and speak again soon. So there we have it. That is everything we have done today. We've got lots more updates coming very, very soon. So make sure to stay tuned for that by subscribing with your notification bell on so you can see when I next upload a renovation vlog. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy them. It helps me out with my channel and it tells me what kind of content you guys want to see. So if renovation vlogs are your thing, let me know. Thank you once again to Cherries for working with me today and make sure to use those discount codes FF if you're an existing customer in FF25. If you are a brand new customer to Cherries, enjoy happy shopping and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.